Good morning, everybody. I know, my hair's a mess. I just woke up not too long ago. Um, you remember this thing? The car? Yeah, I put it on Craigslist, trying to get rid of it. And I got a guy actually coming out here in the next couple of hours to come and get it. He takes these cars and a bunch of other cars and uses parts from them to... I'm not really sure exactly what he does, but he was saying, uh... He gave me 400 cash for it. And, uh, God, man, I, all night long and all morning I looked up. I still have, like, 15 voicemails that I haven't listened to yet. This guy wasn't asking any questions about it. He just wanted to come and get it. 400 cash in my hand when he gets here. So, he's got a trailer he's going to hook it up to. So, I'm, I'm just going with that. Because, um, honestly, I just need this thing to get out of here and I need some cash. So, 400 would be getting a good amount that I can put back. Cause I was thinking, I was like, oh, I can get a guitar now, but I know I need to put it back and save it, especially for like, you know, emergency trips down to Georgia. Yeah, just give me some good, you know, especially with the paychecks being real short here. Um, I'll be covered in a lot of aspects, so it it'll be good. Um, I mean, they just really want to get rid of this thing, but he's on his way. Uh, he'll be here within the next couple hours. I just have to get this thing all hooked up with these wires to get the battery somewhat charged. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, gets this thing out of here, I get some money that I can save back, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Really good about it. So yeah, that's what's going on this morning. Still waking up. I need coffee. Alright, so, uh, I just got the phone with my ex not too long ago, and, uh, we were kind of talking about getting some details of some stuff worked out and whatnot. Good news is with this money that um, I'm getting for this car is hopefully um, trying to figure out by the end of the month at least I'll be able to go back down to Georgia again for a few days. I'm just going to request off of work for like you know um, three or four days or something like that. Just something um, so I can go down there and see my kids again hang out and have a good time um big changes that i was talking about before in the past few videos um might be changing um it's still i don't really know exactly what's going to happen um things might stay the same up here for me um and they might not i really don't know i'm, I'm kind of just playing it by ear i mean it's, it's all good stuff you know it's all good stuff. There's definitely nothing bad as far as the changes, but uh, I don't know, it's just kind of up in the air right now. It's might not happen exactly the way it was planned out in the beginning, but we're just kind of. Um, I don't know. She's praying about it. I'm praying about it. And we're just kind of seeing what what happens uh, over the next few months and just see see where it goes. Um, I'm. I kind of like not knowing, but at the same time, I kind of like having a plan, but, you know, uh, I don't even know. I really don't, but it'll be good, though. I didn't do my workout thing last night just because I had a lot of stuff on my mind. I was really bummed out and just wanted to go to sleep and forget about everything, and where the car was on Craigslist, I couldn't hardly sleep because my phone was blowing up like crazy um and now it's died down to where it's not blowing up so much and this guy's coming to get it so that's good yes had somebody just call about the boat um which i offered it on craigslist for like 300 but he said if it's everything i say it is which i mean it is in good condition because all right i'll show you all here which i mean you can't really see through the window because it's dirty but i mean it's sitting right out there it's in good condition it's not rusted it's only been on the water twice and my phone just keeps freaking blowing up it's ridiculous hold on hello all right yeah i'll be i'll be here just uh yeah shoot me a text give me a shout when you're getting close and i'll, I'll meet you out there all right man see you. that's the guy that's coming to pick up the car i'm about to get 400 bucks in my pocket yeah i'm i'm, I'm excited i really am I mean, for him for that, the guy's going to come probably on Monday to check out the boat. Um, he said he'd go for 200 
He's more looking for like a flatbed boat where that's like a V-top. I don't know, well you can't really see it. But it's more like a V-top because he's got a shallow creek that he's wanting to use it for. But I mean really, I, it shouldn't be a problem as far as that goes. He was talking about 175 but I was like, uh, I'd like to go two. But at the same time, what's $25 for real? I mean, come on, I'm not going to be a stickler over $25. He's close enough to $200. If it's not everything you thought it was, and he's still wanting to get it, he's the only call I've gotten about the boat. So, I'm going to take that. Because, I mean, it's been up there for a little bit, and nobody's called me except for that guy. And, <laughs> shoot, if he's wanting to take it and haul it off, he can do that. Moment of truth here, people. Yeah, that's a good sign. sucks is right before this thing got all jacked up freaking filled up the tank I can make it down to Georgia in this thing in just one swoop trip like just one not having to stop to get gas because this thing it's like 36 miles to the gallon a lot of memories in this car a lot of memories brought home Landon and Bentley in this car, you know? Uh, it's kind of weird now, you know, I'm letting it go. I mean, it's just sitting here, but it's definitely a car that's done me good. Definitely a car that's done me really good. Man. I gotta get my stuff out of here, though. So... It's all good though. It's all good. Things are gonna, things are getting better, and I'm excited about it. Um, I don't think there's anything there. What is this old tape deck? Really? Come on. Oh, that's just a bag of trash. Nothing really in there except for trash. But I'll get that out anyway. It's gonna take him like a good 30 minutes to get here anyway, so. I'm going to get some stuff out of here, pop the trunk, make sure there's nothing in there, and, uh, yeah. And then she was no more. It's kind of, kind of sad. Yeah, I know that sounds, that sounds stupid, but... I don't know, I guess... You always hear about people talking about, you know, man, I had this car and she was so good, you know, and they have all these memories and I miss it and I guess that's what that car was for me. But she's gone, sold. Uh, they actually might be interested in the boat, but they actually might give me the full 300 for it, which if that's the case, then uh, I'll just take that. But he said he's going to let is uh, I think his grandfather know about it because he's got a pond he's looking for something like that so if that's the case I guess I'll be hearing from them about it and if they take the 300 if they take it for 300 then uh, then that that's what I'll definitely do I'd rather go 300 than two any day but four hundred dollars richer and one less hunk of junk sitting around our house collecting dust so. I consider this day a win. So when I was cleaning out the hood or the uh, trunk of the car, there was a bunch of stuff in there that I forgot that I even had. One thing I'm really pumped up about because I bought the okay, it's this right here, this huge thing, and I bought it in Tennessee at the Cracker Barrel back in like 2007, and it's a coin jar jug liter thing <laughs> and it's so good because now I don't have to use I've been using this little thing to keep all my change in but now I can use this and build up a whole bunch of change so I don't like the fact that it has that dent right there and then oh, I found this it sucked because it was so wet and nasty in there from like the moisture and everything else like that like I found this which was my apron and book from when I worked at Olive Garden when I lived in Paducah and then this bag, which, this is disgusting, has so much mold on it. Like, look at that. That's just disgusting. 
But I'm excited to open it up and see what kind of treasures are in there because I don't remember what the heck we put in there. I'm really kind of scared to see what's in here. Really kind of disgusted to even be really touching this right now. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, that's moldy. Oh, a binder thing. I mean, I could clean that off and still probably use that for something. Oh, good God, what is all this stuff? Oh, guitar books. I'll probably never use, though. Um... Wow. This is, uh, Jordy, my ex's old notebook. Ha! <laughs> what to expect when you're expecting. I don't think I will need that. I'll walk down memory lane. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, slap in the face. That kind of stuff. Prayers. I'm gonna hold on to some of this stuff. I didn't realize all this stuff was there. Private. Please do not go through. Well, you shouldn't have left it in there if you didn't want me to go through it. This Jordan and Jordan Fraley. Yeah, it was awesome to see you starting your marriage out with Love and Respect Conference. And we went to a marriage conference. And things started getting really good. Starting to wish I'd never opened up this suitcase thing. Because it's like a huge blast from the past. And this little thing I have to give to Jordy. We have some mess here. It's our little photo thing we got for Lena when he was born. Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll go through the rest of it and see what all is in here. As much as it sucks. To uh, go through these things. A lot of these pictures and stuff I need to give to her. A lot of these things I need to give to her, so. Oh, well, got everything all situated, stuff I'm going to throw out, and uh, stuff I might give back to her next time I come down there. That, uh, which is mainly just a, you know, a notebook right here, full of uh, like Bible verses and stuff that she wrote down and stuff. Stuff that I really think that she would need to look through. Yes, that was a uh, nice little trip down memory lane. Rough little trip down memory lane, but... It's all good. It's all good. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. And I reckon I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work. Relax. And, uh, yeah. I'll just, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And in the morning, I'm gonna, I swear, I swear I'm going to start my uh, workout thing. So, that'll definitely happen. Definitely happen. So, I'm excited about it. It's going to get good. I'm going to get buff, you know. I think it'll be good. It'll be really good. I like the MySpace kind of ending thing going on here. I do. I think I might make that a thing. I don't know whether to look at the camera or myself. Because either way, I'm talking to myself. It's kind of weird. Oh, good night.